To compete for the jobs of the future, we also need a loving playing field with China and other competitors. That's why it's so important to pass the Bipartisan Innovation Act sitting in Congress that will make record investments in emerging technologies and American manufacturing. We used to invest almost 2 percent of our GDP in research and development. We don't now. Can't. China is. Let me give you one example why it's so important to pass. If you travel 20 miles east of Columbus, Ohio, you'll find 1,000 empty acres of land. It won't look like much, but if you stop and look closely, you'll see a field of dreams, the ground in which America's future will be built. That's where Intel, the American company that helped build Silicon Valley, is going to build a $20 billion semiconductor megasite, up to eight state-of-the-art factories in one place, 10,000 new jobs. And in those factories, the average job about $135, $135,000 a year. Some of the most sophisticated manufacturing in the world to make com computer chips the size of a fingertip, the power of the world in everyday lives, from smartphones, technology, the Internet, technology is yet to be invented. But that's just the beginning. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger, who is here tonight, I don't know where Pat is. Pat, there you go. Pat, stand up. <laughs> Pat. Pat came to see me, and he told me they're ready to increase their investment from $20 billion to $100 billion. That would be the biggest investment in manufacturing in American history. And all they're waiting for is for you to pass this bill. So let's not wait any longer. Send it to my desk. I'll sign it. And we'll really take off in a big way. And folks, Intel is not alone. 